ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here. It is um, the 23rd. I'm um, recording these, and I'll be uploading between the 23rd and the 24th of November. So um, it will be just in time for me to announce to those of you who uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody in the United States. I usually go every year, every year to Thanksgiving, and I stay a while. This year, I had um, things changed. My plans had to change, and so I won't be there, but I will be there both in spirit and in FaceTime, and my sister promised to um, freeze the, her turkey, her cranberry sauce, and her apple pie, and the lasagna, and I'll be seeing her the following week, the end of the month. And so I'm bound to be able to participate belatedly with the Thanksgiving. But I wanted to use this time just for a moment to um, talk about a few things, make a couple of announcements. Um, as you all know, my readings and my soul therapy is what characterizes me, and that's the majority of my work. But I have recently started offering coaching, and what is this all about? Well, typically, people who I have already read with and who I have done um, soul clearing with, I have gone into their Akashic Records and have cleared their um, records. Once cleared, they have a lot of people have difficulty in correcting their pathway and making positive choices motiva motivated by energetic statements of joy, love, and abundance. And, um, for example, people can be caught up in relationships that are physically or even i would say worse mentally abusive uh, with a companion with co-workers with a family member for example well the coaching program has um this objective the first it spans typically a period of six weeks it depends on each person but typically it will be six weeks and we um, get together and we work with first recognizing karmic patterns and um, addressing those. And then we work with personal responsibilities in relationships and in partnerships. Then we work with shifting those karmic patterns and adopting new energetic motivation for your own personal karmic operating system. Then um, we shift, we go into the money karma and we shift money karma, trying to avoid karmic patterns that create financial disempowerment. And then we work with shifting relationships, karma, relationship karma and addressing family relationships and karma, uh, karmic intentions and the energetic statement that drives your karma and your, in, uh, your, your intentions concerning relationships. And last but not least, we address karmic expertise for health and well-being. And we... Uh, talk about and discuss the karmic and energetic um, implications of diseases. And that starts the role, the, the, the route to healing. So just wanted to mention that. And if you're interested, you know, write me up, write me and we'll consult freely on that. And um, then we'll see what would be best for you. Now off to the readings. Hi Aquarius, this is Christelle Marchnet, and I'm here with a reading for you for the month of December. I have here the the um, the sexual magic tarot, and I also have the impressionist deck, which is a representation of impressionist artwork on each card of the tarot deck. First, I'll open for you the sexual magic and then the other. I'll be highlighting the two spreads with my Oracle Vida Sibila cards and then we'll crown the reading with an runes casting for Aquarius month of December. For Aquarius, the month of December. I'll show you these as after I spread the other deck as well. For Aquarius, Aquarius, the month of December. Well, 
um, I'm going to see if I could lighten things up here. I'll start with the first card in, which is the Knight of Cups. Another Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have this Five of Wands. The Three of Swords. This lovely eight of the Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Knight of Wands. So there are three different knights here so far. The Justice card, the King of Swords, the Chariot moving right into the spread, the King of Cups, a lot of people here, and the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, outgoing card. Now, with this spread, two different pyramids, three, two, one, three, two, one, I have a relationship with the cards that is diagonal as well. And um, it's quite interesting to see the pairings, the mirroring. And um, of course, when we have a uh, spread that begins with these nights. There are changes coming in. You know, there's movement. There's a lot of movement. And uh, the Five of Wands, however, does also uh, mean a change. But <coughs> what is the change all about? Excuse me. We have this Three of Swords and the, the Ace of Swords. There is um, the need for a truth to emerge. This is undoubtedly the case. But we also have three swords in a row, the six of swords. Once that truth emerges, we'll be in a better place in order for us to then move forward. And it's by no chance, these two um, first knights are moving into the spread. This other knight is moving away from the spread moving away from justice and moving away from the king of swords. It's one, two, three, four, four swords, four cards of swords from the sword suit and two kings. You know, um, what I see, Aquarius, there are definitely a lot of people here and the two kings could be men could be women but there are definitely two people here in your life that are prominent um, and it's not as if one represents inte the intellect and one represents emotions no they they can for many of you be water signs the king of cups and air signs the king of swords but what I'm seeing it is Rather than the suits, I'm seeing it generally as the nature of this person, the way they behave. You know, they may have a, a water or um, or air in their sign, in their chart. But what I'm seeing them as definitely two people, one of which is coming out of a legal separation. Okay, this is for many of you. These are general readings now. But then I also see another person who is also, has also closed a door on a loved one. So, you know, if, if we want to um, define them, we could say that they're on the rebound, both of them, and they're coming back to you in some form, either in the guise of, or ch ch you know, looking for friendship. But Definitely these are two people who are returning to you. And, you know, it's not by chance that there's the chariot with the two horses and they're both uh, going into the same place. Um, what um, is 
odd for me is to see the seven of, this is the first card I'm going to illuminate, the seven of um, wands at the top mirroring the six of swords at the bottom because it's the outgoing card, the seven of wands. And um, I would have expected a, you know, even an eight <laughs> or a nine, but not a seven. Let me take the Virasibila cards first on the seven, and then I'll work backwards. Aquarius, let's see. Let's see what this stands for. Mm. Okay, uh, the seven of so the seven of wands, amore, love, consolante sorpresa, consoling surprise, and such a thought of the priest. Um, definitely, this is a person who has become single again. One of them, the King of Cups, and definitely this person will come to you as a surprise. But it's a person who is um, embattled. I'm going to use that word. A person who ha is torn between the notion of uh, spilling his or her heart out to you while at the same time seeking, you know, consoling, you know, consolation, wants cons to be consoled. Um, it's, it, and then, well, let me take a look now at the Six of Swords, this opposition, this mirroring of that here, because where one comes in to be consoled, you go turn around and look elsewhere. What I'm seeing is Constance Costanza, Veda with the widower, and the Messaggero. I believe that both of them are coming away from relationships. One may be mourning a loss. It is a loss, and nonetheless, whether it, the person has passed or not whether he or she is a widow or a widower or not, but there is a loss there. And they are both in the position of having ended a relationship, just like I said. But one of them is more reluctant to come to you. And I have the feeling, I see that it may not play out entirely in the month of December here. I'm going to take the... Um, Justice card. Okay, melancholy, stanza, the uh, room, and amica, harmony, friendship. Um, uh, what I'm seeing is, of course, justice um, for one of the persons he or she received their just desserts in the sense that they have had a heavy hand in um, creating the separation or the, the breakup. But they're, um, and this is, they will contact you. I, I'm seeing that there, but, but the whole development of the story between these two people, not between these two people, these people and you are going to go well into 2017. And um, there's a certain losing, a certain um, happy nature that it brings to you, a certain, you are pleased, but you did not expect this. And it wasn't what you were looking for, but you are going to go along with it because, okay, they are friends, and yes, this is not the person or the person, these are not the persons that I wanted, but I am going to take a look at the five the Five of Wands. You know, every little, um, every three uh, trio of Sibylla has a card that talks about initiation, a beginning, just like the Giovanni Fanciulla here, the Viaggio trip, Superbia, the pride, vanity, and the Giovanni Fanciulla, the, the young woman. Um, over the Five of Wands, this is a situation of the past of one of these people. Um, and unfortunately, for one of the two people, the story ended because of a third party and the truth emerged. And uh, that's how it went. Okay. For the other, it was more of a loss in terms of 
a sad a situation that occurred, perhaps someone passed. But there are two different people who have um, forgot that, you know, have long, uh, for, their, their hearts are forlorn. Right now I'm going to take the runes to cast to see what they can add to this prize. Okay. So, but I'm getting right over both of these cards, Diag, which will transform the way you have programmed your life in the um, near future, in the upcoming months, because you are planning completely something completely different. You are planning to go somewhere, to move, to travel, to do, you know, this changes because these people come to you and it makes you take a slower pace in developing your plans. Also, um, the, what it will cause for you, what it will create, is you moving on to a more prosperous place, a more abundant economically, you know, truly economically. And um, also, there's um, quite a bit of open communication regarding emotions, something that has not been in and around your life lately, recently. And um, also the um, idea of you, again, I'm getting uh, with Otala, uh, Mark Dave, they're saying it's telling me that you're not going anywhere. You know, you, your plans are going to be halted because and turned around because of these people coming into your life. You will um, go from uh, if you were sad, you're going to be happy. If you were happy, you're going to be melancholic. You know, there's going to be a change of mood because of the change in your life. But ultimately, what these runes are saying and um, Unio is right in over this Three of Swords, is that that initial setback that you're going to experience because of the plans changing is going to very quickly give way to a pool of joy for you, Aquarius. I do hope this was of help, ladies and gentlemen, Aquarius, and I hope you have a wonderful December until we read again. Bye-bye.